Hey guys, Bass from X Force again. Today I've got a pretty exciting blaster, the Sig 552 by Lahui. Uh, it's a fairly new one, so I'm not sure how many is out there, but uh, I think we probably got one of the first ones, well, not the first, but one of the first ones. Uh, so we're going to take a look at it, give it a bit of a try, shoot it, chrono and uh, see how it performs. All right, so, comes in a box like so. Now it says here, WKTV. Um, it's Lahui, we know that much. Um, actually it says 18 plus, so I don't know what the story is with there. We know most of, what, most of the blasters are 14 plus. It's got SIG, uh, Crystal Bullet Launcher, let you experience different feeling, have more fun, okay? And upgraded version. Now, I don't know, I know it's got Metal Gears and blah, blah, I don't know what other version there was, but this version, it's upgraded, whatever that is. So, all right, let's have a... Should have just left it like that. So there it is. Comes with a bit of foam there to protect it. So you get all the goodies. Uh, you get a strap. You get a metal flash item. How good is that? That is brilliant. Uh, these guys are really uh, stepping it up. Eh? The hooey man. Obviously, protective eyewear, your bottle, the magazine, magazine. There are pain to get out of these boxes. All right, so that's your magazine. Now it's not my favorite, it's sort of a smoky see-through, which I guess it's useful for seeing the gels. Uh, it's got the the clip so you can clip more mags onto each other which is really useful uh, not sure how strong they are but useful it is a uh, pretty decent mag so a uh, nylon now to open it you don't flick it from this side I was trying to open it from here yeah, actually it's quite easy you just flick it from there so it opens in rather than out um, and it's quite easy okay all right so getting in there it's actually not a bad mag um, you get let me pull that out you get your charger your battery which is a 7.4 and some gels down there and a sheet with some info on how to whatever but it's all Chinese so good luck with that all right, let's put that aside. And look at this beautiful thing. All right, so the SIG was definitely not my first choice, but it's growing on me because I'll tell you what, it's really comfy. It's very solid. And I ain't kidding, when I say it's solid, this thing is solid. Uh, it's actually got quite a bit of like quite a few metal bits on it like this top rail there. That's all metal uh, Your charging handle that's metal um, What else was there? Oh, the outer barrel and inner barrel That's metal uh, Your fire select which is ambidextrous so ambidextrous fire select metal trigger Trigger guard, mag release, all metal. Um, that's plastic. And then on this other side, the switch, well, the button for the for your stock. It's a folding stock, all right? That's metal. All right, so there's your uh, gearbox. So you've got very easy access to your spring. It is a see-through, the old, I guess, 
I think it might be without looking inside, it might be one of the, the gearbox like the Orgs from Lahui. Not wow, uh, but certainly workable. Uh, and I haven't heard too many having a lot of problems. I could be wrong. Uh, all right, but all in all, this blast is very solid. Very solid. Uh, now, one thing I want to point out, so your battery compartment is front wired. All right, so to get to the battery, I'm just using a different battery because the battery that it comes with it is epoxy, the little seven volts, just give me the, the shits. So switch here and just pull that back, pop that uh, handguard bit off. And I've just chucked one of our 11 volt uh, Bosleys in. All right, so you can find them on the website, they're under the uh, the buffer tube battery I guess in this case not necessarily a buffer tube battery all right so whack that in press it down fits beautifully in there all right so uh, also you've got your sights and that actually it actually clicks actually it sounds really nice just yeah locks in place really nice to look through really well done um, I don't know so much in the decal the other thing I should point out so you've got uh, where am I you got your safe All right. single got one three that's your three shot bursts and then 20 which is full auto um, so, yeah, so it does have a MOSFET or circuit board, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you've got, you can select from three types of, um, from shooting modes. Semi, three shot bursts, full auto. All right, so like I said, that's the charging handle. So that primes, so you do have primer, primes the magazine, gets the gel balls up in that magazine, ready for you to go off. Uh, stock very solid I'm not kidding this thing is full none of these empty shells that is a full stock um, and that can fall through and clicks onto there if you're going hard enough and just got to pull it off then so you can use it I guess for closer combat situations or when you're storing it and uh, yeah that's so the magazine also sort of clips in like it's not like an M4 we just stick it in it's sort of got to be clipped in by the front and then sort of it's kind of like the the AKs so you got to go like that and then very quick easy release so I really do like it I gotta admit it's not visually some might, some might not. I don't think it's, you know, beautiful in any way. <laughs> um, but it's a very nice, very, very comfortable, very nice uh, uh, blaster. All right, let's get some gels in there and uh, see how it uh, performs. I'm running some black label ultras. Alright, so with the black label they are a little bit smaller. You'll find sometimes you'll get good results with certain blasters. Other blasters will like bigger gels. Um, I'm just running these for now. So let's say all right, let's prime it. So there you go. Ah, well, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go. All right. And we got one stuck in there. There we go.
Okay, so we go. Either something stuck. Oh yeah, we got two gels stuck in, side by side in there. So like I said, having the smaller gel doesn't always work to our advantage. Let me clear that up and I'll come back. Alright, so we're back. Yeah. Full of Actually, accuracy is really good. I'm very impressed with the accuracy. I've shot it out, so just to test on the distance, 25, 30 meters. Um, can you put a hop up? If you can get it in there, sure. Um, I don't know if you can see uh, there, you can kind of see the the barrel is about uh, 25, 30 mil in. All right, let's take it to the chrono now. Okay. Actually, you know what? I was gonna hold it. Good enough. There we go. As I have had actually some better numbers, uh, but that's not bad. That'll give you an indication, guys, how well this blaster performs. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with about 290, only because. There you go. There was quite a few 290s in there, and very close in the high 280s. All right, so um, I think that's. There's nothing wrong with saying 290. Alright, there are obviously some busted up ones and we had some lower numbers, but all in all, 290 is. There we go, that's some more. 291, 290, 26, 280, 24, 288, 89. Yeah, 290. 290, straight out of the box. Um, I really think not much is needed to be done to this blaster. This blaster is, as some would say, competition ready. Um, so ready to go on the field, buy it, put your mag in, load it up, put your battery in, get out on the field and off you go. You can basically battle, with, battle it with the best of them out there. Um, solid blaster very solid um, price I think it's about the 350 mark so it's not the cheapest but you know you can go and pay 500 plus for a metal one um, if you like if you don't want to spend as much and you still want a very good blaster very solid nothing wrong with this sucker don't know yet a lot of the internals how long or whatever I still think, you know, MOSFETs and circuit boards and the whole three shot burst on these is a bit of a, you know, whatever you want to call it, uh, a bit of fluff. But, you know, uh, I prefer more simple, less issues. But look, for those that probably had them and ran them for a long time and said nothing's ever gone wrong, mate, beautiful. Anyway. Hopefully that helps to get a good understanding of the SIG 552 from Lahui. Awesome. Very impressed. Uh, I'd run it on the field. I'd run it CQB. You could basically run it anywhere you want. It's very nice. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Like, share, comment with anything you guys might think I uh, might have missed or you like. And uh, I'll see you guys next time with some uh, more goodies. Thank you.